Yo, Playboy Cardi had some fire looking locks, but what in the world happened? Really? Like, bro. Are you tired of using harsh chemicals on your dreadlocks? Try greatlocks.com dreadlock products. Our products are made with nourishing ingredients to keep your dreadlocks healthy and strong. Say goodbye to the damaged dreadlocks and hello to the healthy locks with greatlocks.com dreadlock products. Yo, a lot of people keep asking the question, what in the world is happening to Playboy Cardi's locks? What we're gonna find out today. I actually found this article on how to get your dreadlocks just like Playboy Cardi's step-by-step. -step. From high fashion runways to your favorite radio station, Playboy Cardi has cemented himself as a style and music icon. So what are Playboy Cardi dreads? Jordan Terrell Carter, better known as Playboy Cardi, is an American rapper and model. With over 8.5 million Instagram followers, Playboy Cardi has morphed into somewhat of a style icon. I don't get it, because he only has one like Instagram photo and it's not even him. At least I don't think it is. Like, bro, who is this? Anyway, some fans have even taken to recreating his looks and starting lock journeys of their own. Although Playboy Cardi has experimented with a number of different styles over the years, his trademark look is a combination of dreadlocks and two trend twists. I find that a lot of these articles is like, they like jumbled all the words together. Like, I don't know who wrote this cause like the way they worded it doesn't sound right. Like different styles over the years, this trademark look is a combination of dreadlocks and two strand twists. Watch these YouTube videos to learn more about Playboy Cardi's dreads. Oh, perfect. He's been telling you this this whole time. Just grow your hair out for a year. He kind of looks like Playboy Cardi. Here's a step, start your dreadlocks. Now that your hair is squeaky clean, it's time to start your freeform dreads. Playboy Cardi likely used the towel method to create his locks to start the towel method. Rub your damp, freshly washed hair with it. Bro, this website has a has one of my videos on it. They didn't even ask. Like, yo, that's me. That's literally me right there. I know I didn't have dreadlocks right here, but working on one area of your head at a time or a section of the hair at the time, your choice to use firm but gentle pressure to massage your hair in a clockwise direction until it forms in clumps. Don't stop doing this until all of your hair is in locks. You define your dreads. It's like they literally went through one of my videos and it was like, let's take everything he said and put it on this website. Anyway, I'm done with this. Let's look at his hair. So like I said, we all remember Playboy Cardi, how he started with his locks like this. And I was like, yo, this is so clean. I feel like it was really popular and kind of growing in popularity. This hairstyle with the free form high top fade. We've seen it with Emine. We've seen it with Playboy Cardi. We've seen it with Polo G. We've seen it with NBA Young. We've seen it with a bunch of people with the high top. And I wonder where they got, cause like literally that's how I was doing it. You know what I mean? Like I always look at people and I'm like, I feel like they got drill locks because they watched my video. Playboy Cardi had some of the hardest looking locks. He has a 4C hair type. And I just like the way it all clumps together and goes freeform, just like how it is right here in this image. And even right here, they started to get a little bit more defined. And we've seen down the line that Playboy Cardi started to maintain his locks a little bit more with doing twisting with gel and doing maintenance and two strand twists. And he did braids and other things like that. Right here, we still see that his hair is more clumped together and not as well put together. And we see that Playboy Cardi and Polo G kind of had similarities with how they started and how they maintain their hair now. Playboy Cardi and Polo G started out with that freeform style with whether they started out with sponge rub or towel rub or just allowed their hair to lock up naturally and then started maintaining it later on and that is called semi freeform where you started out freeform and started maintaining it later. Skip forward some time we see that he actually started bleaching his hair and this is when his hair started taking a turn for the worse and, and he like really just went overload with the bleach and the dye. There's like a balance to actually bleaching and dyeing your hair. One of you guys actually commented that it's okay to bleach and dye your hair and yes I agree it's 100% okay to bleach and dye your hair but in moderation. And I wouldn't recommend you to bleach your hair all the way down to the scalp. Cause if you damage the scalp, that's where the hair grows out of. It's like damaging the roots of grass. If you damage the root of the grass, it's not gonna grow properly. So just be very careful. I would recommend going to a salon if you're gonna be bleaching and dyeing the hair. And that's just to stay on the safe side of being protective with your scalp. And if you're doing it yourself, just don't get close to your scalp. That's all you need to do. And why is that such a bad combination with him starting out with free form? then doing some separation and then bleaching the hair. With doing all that separation, what happens is he's actually breaking down all that hair that's close by the roots. So he could be ripping hair that's important to stay in one lock, but he's separating it into another lock. So you can see how there could be damage there. So if you're putting damage already without bleaching the hair, there's already a problem. When separating locks, whether you start out with freeform and then start separating them, or if you just have a thick lock that you wanna separate down to smaller locks, you're typically going to have breakage somewhere. So it's inevitable, but it is possible to do it with the least amount of breakage as possible. You can see how his hair completely transformed from this all the way to this. And then we skip forward and I believe he dyed it all black. And I mean, realistically, all of his sections look really decent. They look like they're good sized. But if you see how tight he has it down by the roots, that's just, I don't think it's good and I don't think it's healthy for your scalp. But then again, this could be something that he just did for a show and it's only for a day. But even then, the, the most tension you get when doing a hairstyle is on that first day, or I would say the first 48 hours of having the hairstyle. Because then it, it loosens up just from new growth or just from the hair loosening up naturally 
naturally. But realistically, I would not recommend for you to do it this tight down by the scalp because you can almost see his scalp bulging and like literally pulling. But yeah, I just want to recommend it. I've actually done my hair like pretty tight before and it made my scalp swell up. So if your scalp is swelling up, that's a problem. That's why I think it's good to kind of allow your hair to go and do its own thing for a little bit and then come back and start doing maintenance. I have a feeling that he's getting pretty close to actually cutting his locks. See his locks in the front. It looks like they're pretty thin. Um, but then again, like looks can be deceiving. There's a lot of locks on my head that look really thin and they're actually not that thin. So he might just continue to grow his hair, but it's one of those things where I haven't seen a celebrity grow their dreadlocks extremely long unless they just have traditional locks like Waka Flocka or Chief Keef. Now Playboy Cardi's locks have become more traditional, but he did start out freeform. So I don't know, we'll see. What do you guys think? Do you think he's gonna cut his hair or do you think it's just gonna be damaged? I think he still can recover, especially cause he's young and you don't see any balding. I, there's always time to recover. Just don't let it go too far. But in the next video, I actually have a fun one for you guys. We're gonna be looking at Playboy Max. I've actually been wanting to do a review on his hair for a long time. So make sure to stay tuned for the next video. But on that, see you guys next time. Peace. Are you tired of using mediocre dreadlock products that leave your hair feeling dry and lifeless? Try greatlocks.com dreadlock products, specially formulated to nourish and maintain your locks, leaving them looking and feeling healthy and strong. From shampoo and oil to locking gel and crochet hooks, greatlocks.com has everything you need to take care of your dreadlocks. Give your dreadlocks the care they deserve. Try greatlocks.com dreadlock products today.